Today I'll be revealing how a magician severs his fingers and restores it back, turns his finger into a lighter, pours water out of an iPhone, pulls silk through his palm, vanishes a bottle in thin air, and turns a regular piece of paper into real money. Our expert magician Savio will start with level one. This one uses fire, so be careful. Watch, you take a flame, you can catch it like this. You can pass it back like this if you want. Now that's some magic with fire. Oh, I love fire. So do you want to learn how it works? Of course. All right, the secret is this, second lighter. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand and yeah. you're going to curl your fingers in like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this lighter uh, with the red part facing inward so that from the front, you can't see it. You're going to use the other lighter and you're going to push this red button right over the flame. Okay. And it should pass the fire over. Watch, go ahead. Boom, there you go. And you can let it go and pass it to the other one. Ooh, one more time and then you can blow it out in style. There you go. Bro, that was fire. And that was just the easiest trick. And I must warn you now, if you don't want to know how the rest of the tricks are done, stop watching. Level 10, magic with our fingers. Let's go. Here's what's gonna happen. Watch my index finger, okay? It's okay. kind of strange if you squeeze it and then you pull it, something strange happens. Okay, ready? There you go. Brand Bro! What? I've seen this in preschool, but yours looks so much better. Let's do it. There's two things, okay? So your right hand is gonna take your index finger. Okay. And just bend like this. The left hand is gonna use your thumb, and your thumb is gonna bend like this, okay? All right. You're gonna connect your knuckles together like this. Perfect. Okay. And then you're gonna take your index finger here, and you're gonna cover that little gap, right? right. And then and the rest is really just your acting. So you're gonna maybe do a little bit of bending. You're like, oh, okay, we're gonna bend the finger. And then you're gonna pull. Oh my goodness. Boom. So you go like. That was good. Can we bring his Oscar out now? The Oscar for acting over here. For level 20, we have a card trick. Take a look. Here we go, watch. If you take any card you want, all right, this one. Go. Watch carefully. If you take this card, you see right here. Watch. If you okay. take it, you can actually put it in a different dimension. Watch. You can bring it right back, just like that. I'm watching from the side, and I still can't see where it went. Do you want to learn how that's done? Of course. All right, here we go. So first, you're gonna do Spider-Man pose, and then you put your thumb down like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your card, and that's where you're gonna hold your card right there. Step two is what you're gonna do, you take these fingers and you're gonna curl around. Yeah. Now the next part is easy. You just keep your hands closed, but you open your hand. There you go. But you but gotta you work on it. You it. gotta work on it. The way you show it less is by holding less of the card. Level 40, this trick will blow your mind. So this trick actually uses a finger ring. I right. want you to take a look, make sure there's no like slits or cuts or anything like okay. that. It's a real ring. It's yeah. real. That's, that's Solid a ring. ring. I'm gonna take the ring. I'm actually gonna put it on my finger like this on my pinky. You can take a look. Okay. Yes. Now watch and try to get solid to pass through solid. Take a look. Ready? One, two, three. Just like that. You can get the ring to pass right through the finger. No. How'd you do that? <laughs> you wanna learn it? Yeah, this is insane. All right, here we go. So it's a normal ring. You can use any ring. Mm -hmm. You put it on your pinky finger like this. Okay. Perfect. Now, here's what happens, okay? You're gonna hold it like this. Two fingers on top, uh, one, and your thumb on the bottom like okay. this. You're gonna take this ring and you're gonna push straight forward and through. What's gonna happen is your finger is just gonna naturally glide out of it. And you're pushing straight through in one swift motion. Go one, two, three, just like that. And you push it right off. Boom. Something like that. And... <laughs> no. Try to control it because you're like you're like shooting it far too much. Just you just want to go straight ahead of you. There you go. That was good. That was a good That's one. Good. That was a good one. Now we're halfway through at level 50. And this is the vanishing bottle trick. Take a look. We have a prime bottle and we have an empty bag. You can see here. We take the bottle, put it inside the bag like this, you wave over the bag like this, and you snap. And something crazy happens, watch. The bottle disappears, completely gone, just like that. For this trick, you need a sports drink bottle, a knife, and some tape. 
So once you have all the things that you need, you take the bottle and you wanna make sure that the logo is facing forward. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it flat down like this. And I want you to just slice down the back so that you can cut the wrapper nice and clean down the back. Once you've done this, you wanna take the wrapper off and keep it safe because you're gonna need it very, very soon. So now what you wanna do is you wanna cut off the top portion of the plastic bottle, maybe one or two inches down from the top so you just have this top portion. Once you have your top portion like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the wrapper and you're gonna put it back on and then you're gonna tape it on so it looks like the rest of the bottle is there. So once you've got your shell of a bottle, what you wanna do is you wanna get an empty paper bag. It can already be crumpled, it could be brand new, it doesn't matter. And what's gonna happen is this, you're gonna take the bottle, you're gonna put it inside and once you're ready, you just smash it because all you have here really is this much of the bottle. Everything else is just plastic. So when you crumple it, crumple it. This looks like the ball. Correct. This is a genius trick. Shout out to Ekaterina for teaching this. Now it's time for level 60. What trick do you have for us? Do you know what happens when you focus really hard? What? Let me show you, watch. Oh. You can generate smoke just like that if you focus. Wow. They call it magic fingers. That's what the ladies call you too, right? <laughs> All right, so for this trick, we're gonna need a ceramic mug, we're gonna need a matchbox, we're gonna need a lighter or a torch in this case, and that's all you need, and we can make this trick happen. First, you need to take your mug and you wanna put it inside a freezer so you can maybe let it sit there for 15, 20 minutes just so that it gets nice and nice and chilly. Next, you wanna take your matchbox and you wanna cut off the striking portion from the matchbox. Then you wanna peel the striking layer from the paper so that you're left with just, again, the striking layer. Next, you wanna fold it in half Place it on top of your mug like so, so that the striking layer is directly on the mug. And then you wanna light it on fire. So be very careful with this. As this burns, what's gonna happen is the chemical we need is actually gonna get stuck onto the cold ceramic mug. And that's what we're gonna use for this trick. Now, you wanna make sure that you wait until this is completely cooled down before you go ahead and use it. Now you wanna take one or two fingers and you wanna take a nice big scoop of the, the goo that's left over on the cup just like that. And now you just have to rub your fingers together. Boom, there you go, you get smoke. Oh, this is so cool. Now let's see what other tricks you have. Next is level 70. I'm gonna do something that will break the laws of physics. Watch carefully. If we take this glass, I'm gonna put this on top like this. Can you please take that rubber band and can you seal it off on every single side? Go ahead. Perfect. Watch, I want you to take a finger like this. Hold it out, perfect, good choice. I want you to point it down like this. I want you to slowly rub the coin just slightly. Okay. So we can heat it up a little bit, just like that, perfect. And I want you to now push down onto the coin. Go ahead, push, push, push. Just like that, you can get the coin to go all the way through. Watch, you take a look. There's like a little mark where the coin went through, but there's no hole. Please teach me. All right, here we go. So this is how this works. We use a really thin but stretchy sheet of rubber. Take the rubber, stretch it out. There you go, yep, yep. I'm gonna get a nice stretch. So once you get the rubber stretched out like this, you take a coin from underneath, you push it straight up like this, and then you let go, and the rubber is stretching over the coin, and it makes it look like it's on top right now. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, look at this. That is so sick. So the next part is making it real magic, okay? Take the cup with your other hand. Okay. You can show the cup as well if you'd like. And you carefully just place this on top. Perfect, just like that. And you can ask someone to help you with this the next part. Just take any rubber band and just place it on top like this, covering it on every single side. And that is basically the entire setup for this trick. The rest is all presentation. You can tell someone, you know, take your finger, you wanna heat up the coin, you wanna do whatever you like and push it straight down and something magical will happen. Take a look. Boom. Wow. There you go. And then you can show it off. You can say, look, there's no hole. There's no nothing. You're done at this point. They can look at this as much as they want. As an audience member, if I didn't know the trick and what was happening here, like this motion just felt normal. Right. right. Yeah, it just felt like the coin actually went through the rubber. Wow. Now on to the next trick. Level 80. Hafu, I heard you were a little thirsty. I'm always what? thirsty. Okay. Let's fix that. You see there's liquid on the screen. What we can do is use a little bit of magic to make something crazy happen. Watch. You do this, you get a cup. Okay, watch. We're also about to have a Jesus moment. You can oh. actually get some water for you to drink, my friend. That is for you. Is this real? It is real. It's drinkable? Absolutely. 
That is real water. Real water. Damn. That's like a iPhone 20 feature, right? <laughs> so what you need for this is an app. It's called iBeer Free. It's not free, you gotta pay for it, but once you get the app. Uh, <laughs> That's such a scam. <laughs> what? <laughs> once you get the app, you have to go and change it to water. Because initially it starts with beer, but you change it to water. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So that's step one. So the next step is you need one of these. You need a little uh, a little cup, a little jar. It could be anything. It's just something that can hold a little bit of water. You want to hold your hand like this. Like this? Yeah. So what's going to happen is this is going to be at your very fingertips like that. And this is going to go right behind like this. You want to hold it. Yeah. Just a little bit like that. Perfect. And so when you want to start the trick, what you do is you hit the red button. Not yet. Not yet. And you grab the, the bottle like this or the cup like that. And then you just pour to the left. That's all it is. So you hit the button. Yep. Go ahead. And you show it a little bit. Shake it. Hold on. Yep. It fills up. You shake it left and right a little. Just like that. And when you're ready, you just take it and you pour and you let the water fall. Go. And lock the screen. Boom. Just like that. There you go. You just made water appear from a phone. Wow. Sometimes magic before you see it, it seems so complex, but once it's revealed, it's like so simple. But sometimes it's the most simple things that look so amazing. Level 90. This will be one of the hardest tricks, right? 100%. It uses okay. this right here. It's a silk and it uses my hand here. Look, take a look. Nothing yeah. on my hand. There you go. Uh, but watch carefully though. Watch this hand. There's a little soft spot you can create. It's a it's a little hole. Can you see that? The hole right there? No. What are you talking about? There's no hole. Watch. It's, it's, you got to rub it a couple times and then just okay. give it a little push. And crazy thing can happen. <sighs> I think that was it. I think I felt it. I opened the hole because now what I can do is I can actually get the silk to start going straight through the hole, through your hand to the other side, just like that. And when you want to close the hole, you just take it out and you just rub it like this and it closes completely. Take a look. Dude, does it hurt? I don't feel a thing. That's insane. <laughs> That's one of the craziest tricks I've ever seen. How this works is very simple. Obviously, the, the, the handkerchief is going through one end and it is coming out the other. This is what allows you to get that illusion of it going through your hand. I'll show you. Can you hold your hand out like this? Okay. Perfect. What happens is this piece goes like this. It gets inserted into your hand like this, okay? And so what happens is if you can take your other hand and you pull, it actually looks like the silk is going through your hand to the other side just like that. This is cool. And that's it. It looks so real. And when you're done, you can use your other hand to just grab it from bottom. And then you go like grab it? Yes, just like that and grab it. Boom, there you go. Done, oh. just like that. That's magic. Wow. Magic is so deceiving, bro. <laughs> so like, what do you think differentiates a good magician from a bad magician then? It is the presentation. Because at the end of the day, magic is sleight of hand. It is things that can be learned. But what makes it really powerful is the way you present it and the way you're able to deliver a simple magic trick to make it seem so impossible. And now, it's time for level 100. What trick do you have for us, Savio? This is called the infinite money glitch. Ooh, I like money. Are you ready? So what you need for this is a piece of paper yep. and this money printer. I made this with things that I found in my house, but due to the nature of this effect, I cannot reveal how this works. What do you mean? I might get in trouble. So with who, the Illuminati? I can't expose. I might get in trouble. That's all I can say. <laughs> but are you ready? I want to see this, yeah. Look, you take an ordinary piece of paper, you take your money printer and you do this. You feed it into the money printer like this, and then you start printing just like this. And look, on the other side... Wait, what? ...comes out... ...a fresh one dollar bill. What? So you're telling me if I take a hundred pieces of blank paper, I can make a hundred dollars? Yeah, but I like to make money faster. Can I show you? Okay. Here, look. See, that method, it takes a little too long. Uh, I like to be a little bit more quicker. And I'll be honest with you, I personally don't even like uh, using the machine. I like using my hands instead. So watch. My hands become my money printer watch. And go like this. You can actually get it to print just like that into the denomination you want. Now look, 20 is good, but in today's economy, it's not enough, right? Let's, let's go for a little bit more. You take your fingers again and you can go and you can change it 
to a hundred dollars. That is my secret money hack. It's the infinite money glitch. What? Dude. But look, I'll tell you this. I can't teach that to you, but if you subscribe to Hoffman, maybe, just maybe, I might pick one lucky subscriber to bestow this secret information to. Dude, my mind is still blown. You literally just made a hundred dollars appear from nothing. I mean, guys, that's worth hitting the subscribe button for. And if you want to see more magic by Savio, follow him on Instagram at SavioJosephTV. And if you want to see more awesome videos, click here to watch level 1 to 100 science experiments and click here to watch a video that YouTube thinks you'll love.